Good morning. Welcome to Morning Moxie with Larissa. On my channel, I talk about business, leadership, personal development, essentially the business of life well lived. And on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I offer bite-sized pieces of inspiration and motivation to help you jumpstart your day. So I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Now, today's topic, if you will, is about self-care. Let's jump right in. So my question for you, my dears, is your self-care a wish list item or a to-do list item? And I'm suggesting that it should come off the back burner and be promoted, if you will, to a priority item on your to-do list. Now, because it's been said, if it's not in writing, it didn't happen. And if it's not in writing, it won't happen. So food for thought. When you move it to your to-do list, you know how you're supposed to rank your items in terms of what's a priority and what's not. I suggest you assign an A for an A priority action item. And really one thing that I highly recommend is to give yourself an AM and PM uh, skincare routine. Now, you know, I, I watch these commercials and of course the people that they have modeling the commercials are young 20 somethings at best for the most part. So no, my skin will never look like that because let's agree I started late because I was going to be young forever. Um, and really, honestly, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't, you know, you can look at me and I'm not covered in wrinkles, um, or deep grooves in my face, no worry, line, no frown lines, no, um, what's that called? Smile, smile lines, marionette lines. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> what I meant to say was have a morning, uh, and evening skincare routine, because essentially what I'm looking at is, you know, at the very least. Yeah, I can't turn back the clock, but I'm calling this preventative medicine, right? So just in case it works, I want to make sure that I am trying to do my part to keep what I have. And so, you know, when I got started on this little journey, it was, I told you, I have a healthy dose of why not me? And so I have gone to, um, I find that Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and those types of stores will have what I call affordable skincare uh, serums, if you will. Serums are your base potion that you should uh, put on your face before you begin with the, or follow up with the moisturizer and anything else you might want to put on there. But potions, serums, creams, they're all affordable and you know, you got to pick and choose, of course, to make sure that you're picking something that works, but, or, you know, a reliable brand. And it's kind of try, but it try trial and error, but you can certainly try things at a decent price point. So give it a shot, get your basic three. And I'm not going to tell you your basic three, because that's your personal choice. You might be working on something different. Um, but the other thing that I use is Olay products, and those are available at any drugstore or department store. And they have stepped up their game, to, again, in my mind, to make everything accessible for the rest of us. Now, once upon a time when I I was dreaming the big dream, I actually did treat myself to La Mer. That is a, um, a very high-end skincare product. And I might try it again one day. You know what I'm saying. But I'm a little bit more reasonable with my spending these days. So I haven't bought any for a long time. But there are other quality brands that you can and possibly should use. If for nothing else, just to keep what you have and, um, you know, a little prevention never hurts anybody. So that's one, your AM and PM skincare. And then the other one is, another one is to add some exercise into your life. And now I'm not trying to be anybody's mama, if you will, but you know, exercise is kind of a necessary evil. Ideally, you would find something you enjoy. I certainly enjoy salsa dancing, especially merengue, because that will get your body parts uh, working. That merengue will definitely tone up your glutes and your thighs, if you don't mind me sharing. Um, or also download an app, as I just did recently, called iFit. And that one, they actually have, um, well, challenges. That's what I started to say. Join a challenge so that you'll be encouraged to keep up the exercise and you can find real life challenges. Um, I happen to find this one on an app and the app is actually pretty good so far. 
I just realized that I could put my Bluetooth speaker on the app because I'm using it on my phone on my treadmill. And so of course the audio wasn't there, but when I put my Bluetooth speaker on, yes, now I feel more engaged. So anyway, and you don't have to use iFit. That's just, I just want to sit, let you know that was one that I could vouch for, but there are also several good YouTube videos that you might want to consider just so that you can mix it up a little bit and keep a little variety is a little spice of life. And just to make sure that you are still, that you will stick with it. Now, the other thing that I've espoused is to do at least one good thing for yourself every day. And the quickest one, if you will, probably, I'm not sure if it's the quickest one, maybe the healthiest one is just to have a green smoothie every day. I recommend a green smoothie breakfast because if you say it's going to be lunch or dinner, well, by the time lunch or dinner comes along, you have plenty of time for some temptation to sink in. So it might not be your lunch or dinner. I suggest breakfast. And I've been recommending Tuscan kale, if you will. Now, everybody knows kale is not, it's a little tart. So you might want to throw some strawberries and or bananas in there. I've discovered that cherries add a nice little piece of sweetness too. Anywho, anyway, so one good thing, whether it's a uh, kale smoothie, green smoothie, meditation, you know, we need to de-stress, maybe transition between work and home. Or um, I also like to enjoy a good walk outside. I do use my treadmill because I'm trying to teach myself to become a jogger, if you will. But I do like getting outside for a little vitamin D and, you know, it's a change of scenery. So take a walk. And besides, I call that my open air office. And I get a lot of problem solving and creative ideas when I'm out walking. So that doesn't hurt either. And then the last one was uh, learning how to relax. Now, sometimes if I'm on the computer too long, it does take me a bit of time to transition to sleep mode. So you definitely want to do some relaxation um, as you transition to from work life to home life. I happened to discover that I actually like crossword puzzles. I had been subscribing to The Week magazine for such a long time. It's a really good magazine. It kind of gives you um, the scoop on essentially everything. And, you know, it's pretty usually a pretty quick read, um, but I was never doing the puzzles because I just assumed they were too hard for me. I'm so bad with assumptions. And I find that I'm actually quite good at them. And I'm like, oh my God, all the magazines that I've thrown out, I've missed out all those puzzles. I'm kind of like, do I subscribe again so I can get back to the puzzles? But I think I might just buy a crossword book. So anyway, whatever your deal is, whatever you like to do to relax, you do need to include that possibly as your one good thing a day. So I find that these are all doable self-care items, ideas. What are some other ways that you could get started? So maybe you could share a little bit in the comments. What are your priority self-care items? And if you haven't, didn't have any before today, now you do. So take good care. And that has been today's Morning Moxie with Larissa. Thanks so much for spending this time with me. I will see you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.